Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat the boss in Roblox the Labyrinth. So before you even get to the boss, you want to put shift lock on, but not any type of shift lock. You have to go to your settings, put shift lock on, do that, and then turn it off. And it'll be like that, and you can still jump around, you can still do everything. You just won't be able to turn it off. You have to go into your actual settings to turn it off back. So see, you can do that, jump around, do everything you want without turning it off so it's pretty cool it's kind of a glitch but yeah let's get to actually how to beat the boss okay so before you have to understand before you're actually going to test this um on the boss you have to actually understand that you're not going to be doing be able to do this in your first time it's going to take a little bit of practice but yeah without further ado let's go on to the video so the first thing you need to know is kind of a uh, camera angle the camera angle it needs to kind of be in the middle, at least my preferably camera angle is in the middle. And I like to spin around him. Actually, you you actually really need to spin around him because or else um, everything in this video probably won't work if you don't spin around him. And yeah, it won't work. But let's get on to what buttons you need to click. So yeah, um, there's a few different ways to actually beat the boss, but I kind of made my own way, combining p other ways of other people. I can solo boss, but in this video, I'm not going to be doing the whole thing, because, um, I'm kind of choking, because, um, when I record and play at the same time, I kind of lag, so lagging means dying midair, so I'm only going to be able to do a little bit of rage, but then at the end, I'm going to be able to beat it, because I'm going to start recording at the end, because it's less lag. It's less, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, okay, so the buttons you want to click. The buttons you want to click are, um, if you're a lefty, you go uh, hold A. If you're right, um, right-handed, you hold D, like, in your keyboard. Some people prefer to jump, like, keep jumping, like, spam jump. But some people don't jump, they just kind of walk, and then when he strikes, they jump. I'm not like that. As you can see, I kind of spam jump. But do not hold the, the space bar because if you hold the space bar, it's really not easy to actually um, dodge the hits. And it'll just become hard. So I wouldn't do that if I were you. You can try to test that, but it, it, I prefer just to spam jump because that's easier for me. But jumping, jumping, you kind of have to get on your own. I can't really teach you the rhythm. It's kind of harder to teach the rhythm. You kind of have to get that on your own. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, so some people keep double jumping. It works, but not for me. I just keep d jumping once. And then when he, he attacks, I double jump. But I failed that time. As I said that, like right now I double jump. But when he does, but when he does the slam with the fist... Um, I go forward, I switch um, to W, I click W to go forward on the fist because I just prefer that for some reason. But when he does the rockets, when he like kind of loses his hands, not his arms, like, um, let me see, like when he does that, when he loses his arms, right, yeah, right now when he does that, the rocket thingies, I go backwards because that's just better for me. Um, yeah, just right there I go backwards. Then when he does the slam, I go forwards. Yeah, like that, and yeah, and you guys sh should be able to do it, um, beat the boss. Make sure you double jump when he attacks, but do do not keep double jumping when he's not attacking, because you can mess up, and you can double jump right into his, um, attacks, so don't keep double jumping, but do keep attacking, oh, or not attacking, but do keep jumping, but do not double jump unless he attacks, if you know what I mean, but right now I'm probably gonna die because I'm laggy, I mean, this is pre-recorded, but still, I know I die on this because, yeah, I'm laggy, and I die mid-air, probably, I think. No, not yet. Somewhere right now. Yeah, right there, I die a super mid-air. That's kind of annoying. But I died mostly because I was recording. When I record, I lag. So this is just me soloing the boss another time, but I just started recording as he was dying because I didn't want to die mid-air again. So, yeah, I got some good stuff right there. I think I got some wings and uh, dead core, so that was pretty cool. And, yeah, if you guys enjoyed your video, please slap a like, subscribe, post notifications on, and you know what I always say. Rise and grind, gamers. Rise and grind. Peace.